How's everybody doing today? And as you can see, we're going to be rebuilding the Washington Nationals. So with that being said, this is going to be the first of our five year rebuilds. Every rebuild that we do from here on out is going to be a five year rebuild. So if you guys are excited about that, hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you're new and enjoy the content. And as always, let me know in the comment section who you guys would like to rebuild next. So with that being said, let's get into it. So with the Nationals, they've been kind of disappointing this year in real life, just kind of lackluster, just hit or miss really when it comes to it. So when we talk about today's video, let's talk about how I want to approach this Nationals rebuild. So Scherzer, Strasburg, Corbin, Hellickson, and Sanchez, they're okay. The first three I'm good with, I should say. Like, the first three I'm really happy with. That's a solid one, two, three in the starting rotation. It's these two that I have a couple questions with. And there really isn't anybody down here that I'm too excited about. When we look at the relief pitching, Trevor Rosenthal, Bear Cloud, these are two decent relievers for the future. Wander Suaro looks like he should be good for the future as well. Coda Glover usually hits about the 80s within a couple seasons. So we should have a good core for the bullpen. Closing pitcher, Sean Doolittle. He's hit or miss. He's a player that sometimes develop, like holds that 90 overall high 80s for two, three seasons. And then sometimes after a season or two, he starts to decrease very quickly. So we'll have to keep an eye on that closing spot. Um, catching wise, you know, we do have two catchers. Kurt Suzuki, I'm not too sure about. I don't know if I want to keep him for too much longer. I don't know if he's going to hold that 80 overall rating. Um, Spencer Keeboom could be a catcher for the future. First baseman, we need to get younger at. Second baseman, we need to get younger at. We do have Carter Keyboom, so I'm hoping by the time that like Dozier and Howie Kendrick fall off, that way we can move Carter Keyboom into that second uh, second baseman spot. Third base, I want to keep Rendon as much as po as long as possible. Um, I, he's he's just a really good third baseman to have. Trey Turner is going to be our starting shortstop. He's he's just a great player to have in a sim franchise. Juan Soto isn't going anywhere. Center field, we need to get a little bit younger, find a player that we could re uh, rely on. We could move Victor Robles to center and get a new right fielder. So that's always a possibility as well. So in terms of the team, I do want to find maybe a new four or five starting pitcher because um, I just don't really trust Hellickson and Sanchez. And then with the lineup, I feel like we're okay. I do want to get a little bit younger at first base. Um, but I don't really want to make too much changes in the first season. I want to see how things go, see which players I want to keep, see which players I want to get rid of. Um, looking at the budget though, this is where a lot of question marks are going to be had because, um, luckily Ryan Zimmerman only has a one year deal. So after the season, we don't have to worry about paying him $16 million, but there's Brian Dozier who leaves after the season, which is good. And Sanchez is a player that I do want to trade away. I don't want to pay him 10 million next season. And you guys can see there's a couple other players who only have one year deals that are kind of high in salary, which is awesome because then we can get them off the books and we can sign in some younger players that'll help us for the future. This guy's a player I really want to get rid of. I don't understand why he's on so much. He's a triple A player. He's only six year overall. I want to get him off the books. Um, Trey Turner's good. So I think for the most part, once we get rid of some of these bigger contracts, then we can start making some big moves and see how things go. So let me make a couple trades this season and we'll get season one under the way. Season one underway. All right, first trade we're making in season one is Cowgill, a guy I did say I wanted to get rid of because his contract is so big over the next five years. Howie Kendrick, a player that, I don't know, 35, I see him decreasing very quickly. And then a shortstop in um, Yazel Antuna for Matt Tice, 23 years old, 64 overall, a prospect first baseman. I did say I want to get a little bit younger at the first base position, and it gives us a prospect to look up for. Alrighty, so this trade, Dixon and Sanchez, I know it doesn't improve the team too much, but this is purely just to get rid of Annabelle Sanchez's contract. We're going to pick up Derek Holland. He's going to be that fifth starter. It's nothing too big, but it gets us out of that contract for two seasons. So that's going to be the only trades for this season. Um, I want to keep it simple for season one. I want to kind of let season one go by. I'm not too sure how it's going to end up. I'm kind of thinking um maybe third in the east just with the way the team is we could also do really well make the playoffs i'm not too sure about it we do have some aging players that are going to fall off in rating but this is the team for season one we'll put zimmerman as our dh 
um, and this is this is kind of it you know I don't really want to make too many changes like I said um, and we're gonna keep it like this because once we open up that salary space we're definitely gonna be able to make some moves and it's really gonna help out the team already draft day and because we're doing a five-year draft just to make sure we can keep the video within like that hour long time frame I'm just gonna go through the draft and I'm gonna show you the picks at the end of it so I'm just gonna I'm gonna go off camera get all the picks and then at the end of the draft I'll show you all of them at the same time all right season one draft looks like this um, Dylan Perez 68 overall a 92 potential already per nines look really good and the reason I got him was just in case our closer um, Doolittle starts to fall off a little bit we have a backup closer within you know a prospect to look forward to to help us with that closer role um, catcher Roger Huggins 74 overall 77 potential so not necessarily going to be an amazing catcher for the future but at least we have a decent backup that's going to be kind of young that we can have that we don't have to worry about spending three four five million each year on a backup uh, another closing prospect 65 overall Andres Benitez um, 88 potential so not as good as Perez in terms of potential but not too far off and then we have Jim Holt who's 55 overall 74 potential not too great neither is 75 potential for Dan Wood who's 54 overall and then the last one 65 uh, potential not that great either so we'll sign the 75 potential guys we'll let the 65 potential walk and that's the first season draft to be honest could have been a little bit better um, these first three are okay a little disappointed by the last three so we'll have to see if we can get a little bit better prospects in the next drafts, um, season two, season three. But I definitely see one of these closers being our closer for the future. All right, season one finished 162. We won the division, taking on the playoff, uh, the wild card winner. And to be honest, I was not expecting this at all. We'll take a look at the standings. Eight games in front of the Mets. We are the third ranked team in baseball fourth in speed sixth in contact eighth in power and third in pitching we just was not expecting this at all in terms of league leaders you guys can see trey turner had quite the season 67 stolen bases 195 hits and 114 runs juan soto had the most walks as well um, let's take a look at the awards um, delivery man of the year for sean doolittle clayton kershaw had quite the year wow um but let's take a look at our team as a whole. Uh, Trey Turner, almost 300 on this year. Awesome. He's going up in rating. He's going to be our leadoff man, our starting shortstop for the future. Adam Eaton didn't even have that bad of a season. But I'm probably thinking about moving Robles to uh, uh, to center and finding a new right fielder. At third base, Anthony Rendon's going to be that third baseman for the future. We're set there. Juan Soto. Oh, man. 324 average. Good. I want to see that continuing to get better and better uh, he's also 92 overall he's looking really good um kind of quiet between these two kurt, kurt suzuki starting to decrease in rating so we probably are going to need a new catcher soon um robles didn't hit the ball that well but i'm hoping he gets better i really do i want to see him develop into just a crazy good center fielder looking at the pitchers we had three pitchers with a sub three era which is awesome to see but it's great. We have a one, two, three that is set for the starting rotation. Even Hellickson didn't do too bad. He might be a player I look to bring back for like a season at a time. Holland, probably out the door. Um, looking at our bullpen, Wander Suero had a phenomenal season. Um, Rosenthal, kind of a high ERA, but I mean, he's going up in rating. I, I think he's only going to get better and better and better. And then Doolittle obviously had... An amazing season 44 saves only three blown a 117 era and a 0.8 whip gross um let's see how some of our prospects did do we have anybody of note will crow doesn't look too bad um eric fetty doesn't look bad seth romero so we had we had a little bit of growth in the bullpen joe ross okay all right um jimmy cordero spence spencer keybooms up to a 70 so we might have a player to move up in the ranks and catcher matt tice went up four since we four or three since we traded for him carter keyboom's almost a 70 so he definitely will feature in this rebuild um anybody else uh no one really but so far 
so good with the growth. I'm liking what I'm seeing. I'm really liking the way the team performed. And let's see how we do in the playoffs. Taking on the Mets. All right. Taking on a divisional opponent. Let's see how things go. And we're facing eliminations. Every, every, every single time we're number one for our, uh, for the National League or American League, it always comes back to bite us. You know, it always comes back. It always comes back to bite us. We never can get like past the first round. It seems, um, first and second, no outs, and we don't get a run. Are you serious? Come on, sack bunt. Trey Turner can't deliver in that situation. We got to get out of this spot. Oh, we allow a run? Really? We let the pitcher bring in a run? Okay, Soto gets us back even. And uh, that's good. That's good. All right. So, so far, not terrible. The thing is, Scherzer wasn't full energy when we went into this game. So, he's about half right now. Okay, turn around second. First and second. Soto. Boom. Four RBIs on the day. Awesome to see. If Scherzer can give us, what, five or six innings? That'd be really nice. You know what? He's gone through five. Let's let's pinch hit here. Yeah, we're going to let Adams pinch hit. Double play, really? All right, so now we just got to be kind of smart with what we do here. Perfect. Awesome. All right, so. All right. Ooh, okay. Two outs. Mm, all right, we got to be careful. First and second with the righty up. Let's go Suero. And Suero gets us out of it. Perfect. Still holding on to that three-run lead. We're going to pinch hit for Suero here. We'll let... Yeah, we'll let Gomes, Gomes swing the bat. First and third. There we go. An insurance run. A four-run lead. Oh, man, our setup man and our closer is really dead. And that, that's kind of worrying me. Let's we'll see if Justin Miller can get us out of this inning. Mm, Bear Claw. Bear Claw does. All right, so Bear Claw might have to do a four-out save unless things get a little dicey. Things are getting a little dicey. He gets us out of it, though. So we win the game, and it is going to game five. Obviously, we got to quick manage that. We can't have, you know, we can't have us losing with a simulation. So we're going to go Strasburg. We got to go with the best arm available. As I say that, we go down one run already, which is not good that's not good we don't want to we can't lose this game we're going against Syndergaard so it's going to be a tough matchup oh man really two run game and we're just man all right so we, we got a score here there we go Matt Adams brings in one that's a good start Strasburg about half energy so I'm definitely keeping an eye on that. Gets us out. That's going to be his last inning. All right. So we need a pinch hitter. We're going to go Gomes. Or Defo. We'll go Defo. Grounds out. Turner. Eaton. Come on, guys. We need we need some help here. Lefty. Lefty, lefty. They're going to go deep. Oh, man. All right. So it is a three-run game still. Okay, a two-run game. First and second, no outs. Come on, we need to score here. Bases loaded. What about a sack fly? Gets us within one. Bases are still loaded. We're going to pinch hit. We're going to bring in... I think we got to bring in Zimmerman. Yes, Turner. Bases clearing tr double. Oh, this is awesome. This is perfect. Bases are still juiced. One out. Okay, two outs. All right, all right, all right. I gotta gotta calm down a little bit. Rosenthal comes in. First and second with one out. Come on, gets us out of it. Perfect. All right. So Victor Robles doesn't get on. We're gonna pinch hit. We're gonna bring in Michael Taylor, and we're gonna bring in the man Doolittle to shut the door. Okay. Whew. Whew. Got a little sketchy there at the end, but you know what? We're taking on the Cubs. I need to see where Scherzer is on energy before I start throwing him on the mound. He's all right. So he's good. We're going to move Strasburg back a day, though, so that he doesn't 
just absolutely get destroyed for having lack of energy. So let's go into this Cubs series. All right, up two to one, two to two, three to two, and the last game, it is a elimination game. All right, game seven. They're really making us work here, season one. Corbin's gonna be on the mound. Anybody kind of tired? Kurt Suzuki's a little tired. We'll bring in Gomes. We'll be a little smart here. So going against the Cubs, Let's see any changes to the lineup it's looking like a standard cubs lineup come on corbin get us out of it perfect and then we aren't gonna get a hit that inning a little disappointed there taylor corbin turner anybody 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 it's a little quiet three hits between the two teams all right zimmerman no dozier gomes oh my god this is this is a very very boring game all right turner uh all right through seven it is a pitcher's duel Pfft. all right eighth inning bottom eight can we do anything no all right all right going into the ninth come on we need something they bring in stroke anything at all I don't know why I went 10 with Corbin, but Corbin did it. Let's see what we can do here. A single, perfect. A strikeout, a flyout, and then a ground out. Really? We're going to take out Corbin. All right, so we got switch righty righty. We'll bring in Suero. All right, let's go. Come on. Let's get the bats going. We're going to pinch hit. We got a lefty or a righty up, so we're going to bring in Adams naturally. That's all we needed to do. We're taking on the Yankees in the World Series. Look at that matt adams coming in clutch let's get this uh um lineup all situated we're gonna go like that oh man i'm feeling good about this one we're we're looking good we're feeling good two two three two game seven again are you serious elimination game in every single series man this is definitely not an easy road to the world series for sure so game seven let's see if we can get it started right stolen base man in scoring position come on sack fly so yankees lineup looks the same no no changes there we got to score we need to get some runs on the board come on double play to end the inning very quiet game we have three hits Come on, move them over. There we go. Sack fly gets the job done. Perfect. Oh, man, come on. Run scores, and it's a tie game. Can we steal second again? We do. Come on, we just got to bring them in. That's all we got to do. Bases juiced. Sack fly brings them in. That's what we needed. We got the lead again. How come every time we get the lead, we give it right back? We got to stop doing that. Michael Taylor coming up with the home run. There we go. Okay, I'll take that. Come on, Scherzer. Keep dealing. Rendon doubles. Okay, Soto flies out. We get the run in a two-run lead now. Scherzer. Scherzer was at half energy when the inning started. Like, that, that's just... That sucks. He's still got good energy. All right. Let's go. Suero. Bases are loaded. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Sack fly. Oh, man. Gets us out of it. We're down to our last three outs. Lefty, lefty. <sighs> Hit by pitch. Okay. Fielder's choice. Zimmerman, please. Singles. Dozier. Bases loaded for Kurt Suzuki. Oh, man. Three run double. Kurt Suzuki. And then Michael Taylor brings in a run. Oh, that is perfect. Doolittle, come in. Do your job, please. World Series Season 1 with the Washington Nationals. A team that I said was either going to get third or somehow win the division. World Series Season 1. Unreal. Okay. Game 7 in ev or elimination game in every single um, series. Game 5 for the NLDS. Game 7 for the NLCS. World Series Game seven. Let's take a look. Who are the award winners? Playoff MVP for Anthony Rendon and World Series MVP for Rendon. You guys can see that. Let's take a look at the team, how they performed. 
okay. Rendon just, he, unreal. Um, Soto didn't do too bad. Um, Adams came up clutch in one of the games. Uh, Dozier didn't do too well. So I think he's going to be a player I'm going to look to replace, get a new second baseman. Kurt Suzuki, those three RBIs at the end of the game came in perfect. That was exactly what we needed. Overall, team obviously did very well. Um, Helixson a little roughed up. Derek Holland in his, you know what, two two games I'm assuming did very well. Um, Strasburg, okay, okay. Um, Scherzer obviously lights out. That's what he does. And even Corbin, 30 innings pitched and only got one win. What? But, you know, 30 strikeouts in those 30 innings as well. He did very well. Very impressed with the team during that playoff run. Rond Wander Suero, no, no uh, earned runs. Uh, Bear Claw, kind of high. But overall, the team, yikes. Doolittle had a 15 ERA. Yikes. But he... Yeah, right. Game 7, he came in the clutch. Doesn't matter. We won the World Series. That was perfect. Let's go into Season 2. Okay, so exclusive negotiations. We have these three up top. You guys can see the deals. They're kind of big, which kind of sucks. Helixson, we're giving a one-year deal along with Matt Adams. The rest I'm going to go just because I feel like they're going to ask for a little bit too much money that I'm willing to spend right now. Um, so those are exclusive negotiations. Alrighty, off the uh, arbitration. Uh, we have Michael Taylor here. Um, I offered him Bearclaw, not Grace. I'm not too sure about him just yet. Um, Ross, not Miller, uh, Wilmer Diffo, and not Oz, whatever that guy's name was. Uh, contracts wise, you guys can see we're trying to lock up Soto for at least four years, um, as, as well as everybody else that was allowed to get a longer contract. I tried to get them for at least the length of the rebuild. That way, we didn't have to worry about them for the future. Um, you guys can see a couple other contracts that I did and didn't offer. Um, looking at free agency, you guys can see there's Garrett Cole, there's Bumgarner, but I feel like our starting rotation is strong enough. We do need uh, a fifth starter. I did offer Helixson a one-year deal, so hopefully he takes it. Um, so we are in need of a like a fifth starter. Um, and looking at him, Drew Smiley is a player that is interesting to me. Um, Pomeranz, no. Did Perez pitch last year? He did, and he didn't do too bad. So you know what? Let's we we just need we just need a fifth starter for like one or two seasons. Let's offer him. Let's offer him about four. I feel like that's not too bad. Um, bullpen wise, I feel like our bullpen did really well. Glover's coming up. We are losing Miller and Grace, so we may need one bullpen arm. So looking at the options, there really isn't. We could bring Carter Caps in, see how he does for a season. Um, I mean, we could go for one of the bigger names, but again, I'm trying to save some money. So I feel like Carter Caps for one or two seasons, again, not a bad little pickup, especially if we can get him for around $3 million for two years. Definitely an option. I'm really hoping everybody signs. Um, that, would be, that would be nice if we could get everybody back. We are in need of a first baseman. We have Matt Adams. But I don't really want to bring back. I don't really want to bring any of these guys in. They're aging. I don't really think they're going to help us. I don't want to bring in Dozier because you're going to see he's going to want quite a bit. Eight million a year. I feel like we could go with somebody else for a little bit until Key Boom is ready, which is probably a season or two. So maybe we do a one year deal with Castro. See how he does. And then if we need to, we could always bring somebody else up. I'm hoping Rendon comes back. Shortstop, we're good with Trey Turner. Left field, we have Soto, we're good. Center field, we're good. We have uh, Michael Taylor or Victor Robles. And then right field, obviously, Victor Robles. In thinking about it, though, we are going to need a backup. We do have Rafael Bautista in center. But, so I think we're good. I did offer a couple other players some contracts. Antonio Fuentes is one of them, a 66 overall, 18-year-old. Um, who else? Keller because he's got B potential and he's an outfielder and then this guy just because um, we're probably going to need some bullpen arms since I'm not signing all of them back. So for now, I'm going to leave it like that. See if we sign any of those players and then we'll get into season two and see what other moves we need to make. Alrighty, season two. Let's take a look at our newest signing, Will Smith. Sean Doolittle wouldn't sign the contract that I would offer him. So instead, 
I went out and paid $13.3 million over three years for Will Smith, who's just as good as a clo- of a closer, um, a little bit younger as well. So looking at our starting rotation now, um, you guys can see here, Martin Perez came in. We signed that Antonio Fuentes guy. We got a couple other players down here that B potential, still kind of in their 20s, should grow a little bit more. So I'm looking forward to seeing that happen. Um, bullpen help, we added Carter Caps. Coda Glover is going to get called up along with Joe Ross. And there's a couple other new names. Uh, Andres Jaquez is one of them. But it's looking like our bullpen's a little bit of an area we need to focus on um, some more. Closing pitchers, we got Dylan Perez, who's going to be our uh, AAA closer. Um, and then we've already mentioned Will Smith. We also do have Andres Benitez, who was a uh, draft pick from last year. Roger Huggins is going to be our backup this season with Kurt Suzuki being the starting catcher. Um, Spencer Keyboom will probably be ready next season to join us unless Kurt, uh, unless Kurt Suzuki degreases very, very quickly. Then we'll have a battle between Huggins and Keyboom. First base is going to be Matt Adams for the time being. Um, I just didn't really know who else that we could get for first base. Second baseman, we have Starlin Castro for the season. We'll see how he do see how he does um carter keyboom just isn't ready yet i think he's a season or two away still third base we got anthony rendon um i signed drew ellis for two seasons i think it is no three seasons um from free agency to kind of be that backup third or first baseman um we have trey turner and defoe still here this guy luis garcia um i knew he was on the team last year he actually looks really good i'm kind of interested to see how much he improves over the next couple seasons Left field, we got Juan Soto locked up for the, the rest of the rebuild. Um, we got Andrew Stevenson down here as well. In center fielder, we got Michael Taylor for this for the time being. Um, he didn't do too bad last year. 245, not that great, but he did come pretty pretty clutch in a couple instances in the playoffs. Um, we have Bautista as our backup center fielder. In right, we do have Victor Robles, who again, locked up for the rest of the rebuild. So, we probably do need a... Oh, I did sign Anthony Alford because I know he... Um, improves quite late in his career he usually hits about the 80 mark so we still have a good uh, potential player in Alford as well so a couple new faces um, the lineup currently looks like this I really don't think we need too many changes um, right now I kind of like the way the team looks um, if anything we'll make a trade at the deadline if someone's not doing well but for now this is the team I kind of like it for season two. Let's see how things go. All right, season two draft looks current like like this. I shouldn't say currently like this, but it does look like this. To give you guys an insight on what the draft looked like for every team, there were a total of nine players that had 90 potential or above in the entire draft. So looking at this, it's not too bad. You know, a 57 overall, um, 88 potential reliever. So probably won't feature but hey this, i'm not going to complain we got another closer with uh 72 overall 79 potential it was one of the better players on the board at the time same with this guy mauricio rosas he's a third round pick 81 potential 75 overall not not bad at all for a third round pick uh javier cortez looking like more of a second baseman rather than a shortstop but um good speed decent hitting stats already um steven clifford was our fifth round pick 65 overall um 78 potential technic not not a really bad pick you know good home runs per nine decent stats and then the last one uh carlos alvarez we're gonna let him walk um because he's 67 overall with a 66 potential so that's the second year draft um second season draft i should say let's see how the rest of the sec uh season two finishes out okay i'm going a little bit younger in center field at the deadline day for season two we're going for joe adele of the angels a good prospect 20 years old a potential 70 overall um we're gonna be trading michael taylor because he's hitting 208 he's really struggling this season um and i had the idea of moving victor robles to center but i think we're just gonna move him back to right so that adele can play center we're also going to be adding a starting pitcher in Eric Fetty. I didn't realize he was 27 already. I thought he was a little bit younger. Um, and his per nines aren't that great. So might as well trade him while we can and get a decent little center fielder out of it. So as you can see, 93 and 69, we won the division. And we'll be taking on the Giants in the division series. And to be honest, I didn't think we were going to make the playoffs. Because at one point, we were, I think it was at the draft, we were 31 and 31. 
and I'll show you guys. We went on a massive losing streak at one point. Like from here, we lost like what 10 games in a row, which was crazy to think about. And then towards the end of the season as well, we kind of hit a big patch of games that we just kept losing. It was it was pretty it was pretty close. I don't think we won the division by much. Yeah, one game. Um and we would have made the wild card but it's it's still pretty close so things definitely got a little little a little closer than they should have been but trey turner had the most stolen bases anthony rendon had on base plus slugging and then max scherzer had the most strikeouts it says we have an award let's see what we have hank aaron for anthony rendon a gold glove for victor robles and then we had the closer of the year with will smith this time so Let's take a look at the team, see how things went. Trey Turner, looking like he's going to cap at 89 unless he starts getting kind of a little bit better bat this season. He had a little bit of a down year, 257. Um, Juan Soto's up to a 97 overall, hit almost 300. And you can see his stats here. He's looking like he's going to just be an absolute beast. Anthony Rendon's up to a 94, so I'm glad we gave him that massive contract. He hit 321 this season. Matt Adams is up to an 81. I think this is where he's capped. I think this is where he's going to finish. You know, you can see his stats are starting to go down. So it's looking like we're going to need a first baseman for the future. Starlin Castro hit 247. Not as good as he did last year, but I mean, for a one year deal, we do have a uh, key boom who we can call up. Kurt Suzuki's time at catcher is up. You know, his contract's done at the end of the season as well. I mean, he did his job at, uh, at catcher. Joe Adele's up to a 74. So as long as he continues to get better, we should have a solid uh, outfielder there. Defoe as a DH wasn't bad. And Victor Robles, man, we got to get that hitting sorted. Um, you guys can see the bench here. Drew Ellis actually wasn't that bad for kind of like a platoon player. Kind of impressed by that. Let's take a look at the pitching, see how things went. Um, Scherzer is starting to go down. He has one more season. I'm going to let him see out the contract there. Might as well. Um, Strasburg, a 3.4 ERA, not as good as last season, but still 3.4 is nothing to be upset about. 3.5 for Corbin, you know, pretty similar, you know, not as bad as I would have thought or not as it's, it's not bad. 3.5 is not horrible. I'm not going to stress about it. Um, Helixson, solid season, a three ERA. I'm pr pretty happy about that. And then, uh, Martin Perez, 3.6, pretty similar to last season. Um, as long as he continues to get better, I'm okay with that because, you know, he's our five starter. So um, overall, pleased with the pitching. Could have gone a little bit better. Um, expecting, you know, three ERA from these three. But, I mean, I'm not going to throw up the biggest of fits. We made the playoffs. So looking at the rest of the uh, bullpen, Suaro's looking, or Suero is looking very good. Uh, I'm glad we have him in the bullpen. Carter Cap's a little rough. Coda Glover's looking really good as well. He might be a good player to keep an eye on if you're looking for a franchise bullpen arm. Bearclaw, a little rough. A 4-5. Trevor Rosenthal, though. 1.17. He is looking like a solid setup, man. And maybe he's gotten past the nickname. Trevor blows them all. And then we got Will Smith. He's just... he's he He's like a must pick up if you're looking for a closer. So there's the team. Let's take a look at some of our prospects. Um, Seth Romero. Okay. All right. Fuentes. Some, some names are starting to hit close to that 70 mark, which is awesome to see. Um, bullpen. Eh. You guys can see the two players that we drafted are 70 overall already, which is awesome. So probably by season four or five, they might be featuring in this rebuild. Key booms a 73. So he might be the, the backup to Huggins next season. Uh, Tice might be starting next year you know if he hits that mid 70s we definitely have our starting uh first baseman key boom at 72 i don't know if he's ready to play second base just yet uh third base we got rendon we don't have to worry about it garcia is almost up to a 70 he's looking really good um and then we got soto adele and robles so the outfield is looking set for the future so let's get into these playoffs see how things go against these giants and we're moving on. We're taking on the divisional opponents of the Mets. Let's get our bullpen right. So we had Perez starting. So we got to get Scherzer there. Just move everybody up a day, basically. So here we go. Let's go against the Mets. And we are 
facing elimination. So that's not good. We definitely don't want that. We, we got to win. We're away. So it's going to be a good game. We're going to put Scherzer on the mound. We're going to let Suzuki. He's hitting 281. Is anybody struggling? No one's really struggling. So let's see if we can get the get the win there. Okay, Rendon keeps it alive. They have Mondesi. Eugenio Suarez as well. Dallas Keuchel. Okay. So they've made some moves. And oh yes. Gets out of that bases loaded jam. That's what I'm talking about. One run scores. Scherzer's allowing a lot of... Oh man. I was going to say he's allowing a lot of base runners. And look at what happened. So we can't get the run there. So we're down four. We're facing... You know, we're, we're kind of... We're putting ourselves in a tough position. Scherzer gets out of that. Okay. Man. 5 nothing. This might be it for us. Scherzer's not even going to make it through, what, five innings? Ross is going to come in. Gets us the out there. Man, this is not good. We can't, we can't get a run to save our lives. It's a seven-run game. And that might be it for us. We're going to let Ross keep going. You know, he's, he's not doing horrible. But a double... We're just not, we're not getting the runs. We're not getting the runs. Ninth inning, seven runs. Oh, man, that's, that's rough. Uh, who can hit lefties well? We'll go Huggins. And that's it. That's the season. Unfortunately, we get knocked out in the NLCS. And yeah, that's, that's rough. That's rough. That definitely is rough. The Mets won, though, so at least we lost to the World Series. Winners. Let's go see who won MVP for the play, uh, the World Series. Conforto and the postseason MVP was Pete Alonzo. So uh, we got we got knocked out in the NLCS. We won the World Series last year. So we're, we're still a very, you know, strong team. We're a World Series contender. Let's see if we can make a couple tweaks to the lineup. See if we can get us into that World Series again in Season 3. Arbitration wise, you guys can see um, we offered these guys here arbitration. Um, also, Henderson Alvarez, um, just because. And then tendered contracts, everybody got one. Um, I don't, the ones that I didn't offer were like 30 year olds who were like 60 overall. So, already a quick look at our roster so far. This is what we have for season three. As you can see, Aaron Sanchez was the starter that we got instead of um salazar salazar went somewhere else i forgot where it was but so we decided to sign aaron sanchez for a season um you can see we got mauricio rosas who's actually developing very very quickly so by season four or five he might actually be one of our starting pitchers um the bullpen's looking decent um it's actually looking really good um the closing spot is looking pretty solid as well we got perez and benitez to keep an eye on but with will smith there i think we're looking we're looking good our catcher spot you know, Key Boom's a good backup. We got Huggins, who's up to an 80 already, so that's good to see. Jake Lamb's gonna fill the gap for a season or two until Tice is ready to move up to the bigs. Um, we got Panic in for a year. Um, I'm hoping he's. I'm hoping this Key Boom, Carter Key Boom, is ready by next season. Um, I'm really hoping he is. We got Drew Ellis and Rendon, uh, Turner and Wilmer Defoe. Luis Garcia might actually be a player that we see in this rebuild. Um, this was a free agent. Um, I think he was a, a draft pick for the Blue Jays. He has C potential, but he looks really good. Uh, he's got good stats, good speed, um, decent fielding. Um, so I decided to sign him up. We still have Juan Soto there. We're going to let Joe Adele develop in AAA for a little bit. We also signed Lewis Brinson because I saw he was available. He's kind of more of a trade piece for the future. And we're going to let Rafael Bautista uh, start in center this year. And then we got Victor Robles in right. So this is how the lineup's going to look. Um... I don't think it looks horrible. Um, obviously, there are still some players that are holding spots until some youth, like some talents come up and join us. But for now, you know, not a lot of changes. I'm really hoping that we can get like season three, four, and five, maybe get at least one more World Series. Um, with Scherzer most likely leaving after the season, it opens up a lot of cap space and it'll allow us to really bring in um, someone maybe for that, you know, to really hold down one of these positions that we're lacking. So I think 
for now we're looking good if we make any more moves it'll be probably at the deadline so i'll catch you guys um at deadline no i'll show you guys what we do with the draft Alrighty, so this was the best pick of this year's draft it went to the toronto blue jays he looks really good 99 potential this guy looks like a solid shortstop um, already at the age of 19 and here's our draft. Our first pick was a catcher, Herschel Flowers, 64 overall with that 87 potential. Not too bad. Um, it definitely helps us out in the catcher position. Um, we went with the closer, the next pick. He was one of the better ones available at the time. 73 overall, 83 potential. We're definitely going to need to trade one of our closers away. We have too many now. And then I decided to go kind of starting pitcher heaver just to get a couple prospects in the loop and now we got 66 overall with 78 potential uh a 73 potential with 74 overall um so he's not really going to change too much 72 potential for joey madrid and then we'll sign this guy emilio salcedo he's 49 overall but he's got 40 he's got 79 potential so that's not too bad so um i like the first two picks that we got the third one's not too bad either and our last pick wasn't too shabby so there's that there's season three's draft. This is season, yeah, this is season three. I'm starting to lose track already, but there it is. Let's get into it, uh, and I'll see you guys probably at the end of the season unless we do any trades at uh, deadline day. Alrighty, so Patrick Corbin's struggling a little bit this season, and um, he's actually going down in overall too, which is a little worrying. Um, his ERA's gotten higher the last two seasons, so rather than pay him $21 million, I'd rather pay Herman Marquez who's younger, he's going up in overall, having a solid season. Uh, we're going to get a backup catcher that's contract expires at the end of the year just so that um, we make this deal go through based on salary. So, new pitcher, he's younger, um, not as high over. Actually, he's the same overall. Um, so, that's the only trade we're making at the deadline. I wanted to make the, the starting rotation a little bit stronger. I know it's basically a like for like overall rate uh change but i feel like a younger player who is only going to get better is a lot better than a player who's going down so that's my thinking let's see how the uh third season finishes out so we finished uh 88 and 74 we're a wild card team we're playing the rockies in the first uh in the in the postseason oh my gosh in the wild card game League leaders, Trey Turner is just consistently with stolen bases and stuff. And then Max Scherzer had the uh, best war and most strikeouts. The Mets are going to be a very difficult team to start taking down. They have Mookie Betts. They've been making a lot of good additions to the squad. We finished three games behind them in the East. And wild card, we had the second spot. So just because I mentioned it, let's quickly take a look at our opponent in the Mets. Uh, like their team looks so good. Mondesi, Nimo, Betts, Eugenio Suarez, Pete Alonso, Ramos, Rosario. Like that's a scary team, and uh, their their starting rotation looks really good as well. Um, as as well as their bullpen. Their bullpen is very very strong. Like this is this is a strong team, and uh, it is going to be very, like we're gonna have to make some moves to compete with them. Like don't get me wrong, our team looks good. But it's not as good as the Mets. So you guys can see, like, this guy actually wasn't too bad. His potential's going up. I think this might be a little hidden gem that we found um, that we signed. Juan Soto's hovering around that 96 mark. He hit, again, 300. Like, this guy is very consistent. Rendon's doing very well still. Um, Jake Lamb, for the season that we have him, or we still have him for one more season. But for this season, he did quite well. Joe Panic didn't hit the ball as well as I would have hoped. But for the time being, he's still doing decent. Um, you know, I definitely want to get Keyboom, Carter Keyboom involved. So hopefully he's ready next season. Roger Huggins was C potential. He's now up to B potential. He hit 280 again this year. And he's actually looking like he's going to be our catcher for the future if he continues this. Uh, Victor Robles is just really struggling to hit the ball. And then Rafael Bautista is there as well. Um, looking at the rest of the team. The 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 bench is a little weak the bench is a little weak you guys can see how everyone is performing here mart martin perez might might be out the door he's just 
he's not cutting it for that fifth starter. Uh, Max Scherzer, in probably his last season with the team, finished strong. I, I'm not. That's awesome. Strasburg's probably going to move up to that number one spot. Herman Marquez is going to move up to two. Uh, Aaron Sanchez, probably four still. So we're going to need to bring in another arm. And then when we look at the bullpen, you know, I'm confident with this bullpen. Rosenthal, ERA went up a little bit. Um, but Will Smith's still doing well. And once we look at our, our prospects, we got Rosas who's pushing for that fifth spot. He might be our fifth starter next season. Um, and then we got a couple other names who are really starting to hit those mid 70s as well. Um, our bullpen, this guy could move into the bullpen next season, um, which is definitely a possibility. Tice is looking like he's ready to come up to the bigs. Keyboom, his potential went down probably because he sat in the minors this year, which sucks. So we're going to have to call him up next year for sure. Um, let's see, who else? Who else? Anybody else? Joe Adele didn't go up too much this year. He hit 97. What? That's not good. That's not good. We're going to have to get those players involved some more. So this is the playoffs. We have a one game wild card against the Rockies. We're going to put. We're going to go Strasburg just because I know it's Scherzer's most likely last season, but we got to go with the best possible player and uh, it's it's Strasburg. So, all right. So nothing happens there. Nothing happened for us either. First and second for the Rockies. Looking at their lineup, it looks like Kiermaier and Josh Reddick are their two newest additions to the squad. Let's see if we uh, can bunt them over. We do. So second. I just couldn't take advantage of that, man. That sucks. Um. Okay, double play gets us out of it. We got Robles. Good speed on second. Two-run homer for Trey Turner. There we go. A two-run lead. Can we add to it? Strasburg still doing quite well. One run scores. Another run scores. Get us out of the inning. It does. It's definitely going to be his last inning. I don't want to. I don't want to test it. You know. So let's let's get Swarrow in. Swarrow in. Really, you're going to let them steal with like what was it? Twenty-eight speed. We're down three runs, and are we really going to get eliminated here? Eighth inning. We'll let Barraclaw come in. One, two, three. We're down to our last three outs. That's a good start. This is not a good situation, and that's, that's that. You know, let's see who wins the World Series this year. The Dodgers defeated the Mariners. Let's see who was the playoff MVP. Max Muncy was the World Series MVP, had a solid World Series, and postseason was Corey Seager. So we definitely, we, we're going to have to improve. We're starting to fall off. We need to make some big moves this offseason. Let's hop into it. All righty, exclusive negotiation. Oh my gosh. Exclusive negotiations. Sanchez and Barraclaw are the, really the only two I'm interested in. Scherzer, I don't want to let him go. But I know he's going to start to just fall off in ratings so quickly. And he's going to want a lot. Yeah, $13 I'd million. Rather, I'd rather be able to get somebody else. Um, we're going to let Panic, Perez, Barnhart, and Caps go as well. So we have a few pieces that we're going to have to fill. Alrighty, contracts. They were all prospects. You guys can see here. Um, the only one we didn't offer was Stevenson. He wants like $3 million a year. And we could trade him. But I feel like we could just use that three mil to get someone that'll help us out right away. And then you guys can see arbitration was offered to these top three. So, alrighty. So so far we got Syndergaard. So there's that. So that's good. Um, I don't know about Lindor though. I don't know if we're gonna be able to afford it still. Alrighty. So we got Lindor as well. We made some big signings. Uh, pff, whoa. Alrighty, so I want to clear a little bit of space uh, for just some players to be able to get called into the big. So we're trading Barraclaw, Joe Ross, and then Drew Ellis, who kind of had a down year last year. Just, I mean, yeah, he hit 186. It's not, it's not the best. We're going for Caleb Ferguson of the Dodgers. His stats look really good. 
Um, and he's kind of that long reliever um, that Ross just really hasn't developed into. So there's that. Alrighty, let's take a look at the roster. I almost forgot um, before I started season four. I almost forgot to do this. So this is the roster. You guys can see our starting five. Mar Mauricio Rosas is getting called up to the bigs. Um, it's looking pretty good. These guys are in their mid-70s. Um, our bullpen looks pretty strong as well. And then we have you know, a, a good amount of closing pitchers with some decent potential. So we may need to trade one of them, like I mentioned uh, at the end of last season. Matt Tice looks like he's going to be our starting first baseman possibly this season if Jake Lamb doesn't do well. Um, I might even move Jake Lamb to the bench and let Tice take over that first base spot. Um, okay. All right. These two are looking good there. Third base. Oh yeah. I moved Trey Turner to second base. Uh, Rendon is our third baseman. Still, we got shortstop locked up like Lindor that this is going to be a great addition to the team. We got Soto and Zambrano still, um, Adele, Bautista, Brinson's there. And then we got Robles. I need these two to grow this season a lot. Otherwise, we're going to need a new center fielder and right fielder. Here's the lineup now. Um, yeah, I'm going to do it. Oh, we need the lefty bat. Oh, Tice is a lefty. Perfect. I was going to say we need the lefty bat. We're going to put Tice in for Jake Lamb. I just feel like Tice needs those at-bats. He needs, he needs to start turning into a, a solid uh, first baseman for us. And it also puts him up to almost an 80. So there's the team. I'm liking the way it looks. Let's take a look at the rotation now with the addition of Caleb Ferguson. It's looking good. Dylan Perez is up in the bigs now. It's I'm liking the way the team looks. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling a lot better than we were last year. Let's get into season four. This is going to be the first season. I'm going to let the CPU scout and do the draft. Because I feel like at this point, we're at the make or break part of the rebuild. So I hope you guys have been enjoying it so far. Season four. Let's get into it. So before I hopped into season four to start it, so before I started the season simulating, I realized this guy was in free agency because I noticed that our AAA team was a little low on position players. And this was the guy that I mentioned from the draft that was the best overall player that had like 99 potential. The team let him go. We're signing him up. He's joining the squad. Alrighty, season four has us winning the division 105 and 57. We're taking on the winner of the wild card. Let's take a look and see how things went. Juan Soto, batting average and on base plus slugging. Francisco Lindor had the best war. So it's looking like uh, Juan Soto like smashed the ball this year. Uh, he had a silver slugger. We had a rookie of the year, which was that pitcher, Mauricio Rosas. Hank Aaron for Soto couple gold gloves and then we had the Cy Young with Steven Strasburg so let's go see how Steven Strasburg pitched I mean Syndergaard didn't do too bad you know 14 and 11 wins and losses aren't there but a 271 ERA 1.06 whip Strasburg really his whips higher his ERA is higher his wins and losses are better but I mean I okay interesting uh Hermain Marquez Herman Marquez pretty similar to last season uh Aaron Sanchez is about the same from last year as well and then Rosas rookie of the year 16 and 8 with a 387 ERA for a five starter I'm not going to complain and a rookie very solid Caleb Ferguson sub 3 ERA in the long uh relief role Carter Caps okay better better stats from his previous two seasons Coda Glover that's solid a 211 ERA awesome Dylan Perez in his first season did quite well um, as well Wander Suero his best seasons in a in a couple seasons Trevor Rosenthal hmm question marks being asked there and Will Smith is he starting to decrease now because if that's the case we have a, we you know we have Dylan Perez who can go there and then we can always pay somebody else that kind of money. Let's take a look at the lineup, see how things are going. Trey Turner says he's going down, which is worrying because his contract's up. And I don't know if I want to pay him that kind of money if he's going to continue to go down. Rendon still hit the ball very well. Very consistent Rendon is. Uh, Lindor had his one of his best seasons um, in terms of run production. Average on base percentage. 
glad we picked him up. Juan Soto's a 99. He hit 330. Are you serious? 330. Uh, Matt Tice. Why is he going down? What's going on here? Just not having a good season, I guess. Uh, Roger Huggins is still going up, which is awesome because he was a C potential catcher when we got him. And he's still doing quite well. Zambrano's not too bad for our DH. Robles is still going up. He hit 216, so it's looking like he's starting to you know, see the ball better. And Joe Adele, there we go. That's what I want to see from this center field prospect. He looks like he's finally starting to find his stride. And uh, our bench was okay. Can't complain about it. Let's see if any of our prospects grew a lot this year. Fuentes isn't too far off from being a big leaguer. Um, Seth Romero, neither. I mean, Denneberg, Crow. We got a couple good pitching prospects there. Um, all right. Benitez could possibly make the jump next season if Will Smith isn't ready to you know, sign a cheaper deal. Uh, Catcher-wise, we got Herschel Flowers, who is definitely not ready yet. Um, let's see. Who else? Uh, Charlie Schultz. I kind of want to call him up next season. He's almost 80 overall. And if Trey Turner doesn't want to sign a contract, that might be a player that we need to bring up. Um, but overall the team is looking really nice. So let's see who we're going to be taking on in the playoffs. We're taking on the Padres. Okay. The Padres and we're facing elimination, right? Yeah. If we lose, we're out. How come, how come this always happens? I want to see what the standings are because 105 wins. We were the best. Oh, who won 113? The Astros won 113. So we were the second best team in baseball and we're about to be eliminated as per usual. All right, so Aaron Sanchez is going to be on the mound. We're going to let this go. Let's let's win a game. You know what I mean? All right, first and second, nothing. All right, let's check out the Padres lineup next inning. They have Gomber on the mound. They have Jeff McNeil. That's a new player. Everybody else looks the same. So let's uh let's win this game. So Sanchez, Turner, Rendon. Okay, no, nothing comes out of that. Bases loaded, one out. God. Oh, that hurts. Manny Machado Grand Slam. Are you serious? Come on, guys. Let's get some runs going. Error. Okay. Anything. All right. We get two runs back. That's good. This isn't good. Gets out of it. Perf. Oh, we haven't gotten out of it yet. Oh, please get out of it. Yes. All right. Cool. That was probably his last inning. So. Let's be smart. Let's take him out. Let's go Caleb Ferguson here. Perfect. One, two, three. Adele. Tice. We got a pinch hit, which kind of sucks. Um, Going against the lefty. Who hits lefties very well? Um, I guess him. One out. There's a fly out. A single first and third. Come on, Rendon. We needed you there so badly. Um, we'll bring in Suero. He goes one, two, three. Perfect. Lindor gets on. Soto strikes out. Huggins, Zambrano. Guys, we're running out of chances. Really? Really? How? How? Every single time. We are the best team in baseball and we get knocked out the very first time of asking how does that happen every single time well season five we gotta we gotta get to that world series again all right so the astros defeated the cubs let's go take a look let's go take a look see what happens so bregman was the mvp and the postseason mvp was brian anderson okay okay so Season five, we got to do something. I mean, we had the World Series, and ever since, we've just been drifting off more and more. So let's get into season five. Alrighty, exclusive negotiations. We're going to go with these four. They've been they've been proven well for us. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to leave it. I'm going to see if we can keep them. Alrighty, arbitration, Ferguson got it, and then contracts. Basically, everybody got one. You guys can see um, the top ones up there. So let's look at free agency because I know there's some massive names. You guys can see uh, Jose Barrios, Judge, Tyone, Manea, Contreras, Joey Gallo. Hmm. 
Kyle Freeland. Rendon still hasn't signed the deal. Turner hasn't still signed hasn't signed the deal still. S- wait, Strasburg? Why wasn't I give uh Strasburg? Uh like there's a lot there's a lot of big names available so i don't let's let's take a look so we we obviously need to fill that spot right and i don't think we have a prospect that's ready to make the jump just yet we don't the lineup we're missing two guys we're missing uh turner and rendon all right so we signed jose barrios to a big big deal um let's see if we also signed Rendon, he hasn't accepted. Hmm. I took away the Turner offer because I wasn't sure if I wanted to bring him back. Rendon's still kind of at a point where he's going to hit the ball well. We have Schultz. <sighs> uh, all right, let's 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 offer it. Let's see if we can still afford it. We have a lot of big contracts available. Let's see what happens. All right. So Will Smith actually started decreasing already this season. And uh, we haven't even started season five. So we're going to go for Josh Hader, uh, for Andrew Stevenson, and uh, Will Smith, as well as Fernando Ibar. We have a lot of good closing pitching prospects. I'm okay with bringing in an, another solid closing pitcher. Um, another player I'm keeping my eye on is Anthony Rendon. He's already going down um looking at the team i definitely think we could get a little bit stronger in certain areas like center field right field but i feel like this is the year they're really going to start to grow they're still only 23 and 25 um and then we got these guys up top in the lineup and it's 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 scary it's a scary first four as long as rendon doesn't decrease that's that's the big question mark um this is our starting rotation i might go for a new starting pitcher because i don't know if i can trust sanchez rosas looks like he's going to be a solid pitcher for the future Syndergaard, jose barrios um our bullpen looks really strong as well i'm liking what we have here um i just might make one more trade all righty aaron sanchez a pitching prospect of will crow and a low rated catcher for pablo lopez um formerly of the marlins i believe and now of the Yankees and now of us so um, we'll quickly take a look at like some of the prospects since you've already seen the team as a whole you guys can see here it's looking pretty good uh, we'll move him up to AAA he needs to be in AAA uh, but you guys can see it, it's looking pretty solid um, we'll probably move him up to AAA too but it the team's looking good um, we got good prospects we got good players throughout I feel like we got a solid team here um, and I feel like we definitely should I mean I said this last year we should make the playoffs we should make a good run in the playoffs and then what happens we lose so hopefully things change uh, who knows I try to get keep a good mix of young players and like experienced players so hopefully that kind of made the video a little bit more exciting made the rebuild a little bit more fun and enjoyable to watch so season five Let's see what happens. You know, we got a couple prospects involved um, as well. Like Alberto Zambrano was a team, a player that was drafted. We got Charlie Schultz. Um, we got some pitching prospects as well in uh, Dylan Perez. I know we have another one. Um, we got these two here. Herschel Flowers was a player that we drafted. It's just his hitting stats aren't that good, unfortunately. Um, but yeah. Unfortunately, the players that we drafted just aren't ready to be called up. We do have a couple pitching ones that got involved. So let's get into season five without me rambling anymore. I don't know. Let's see what happens. It could go really good or really bad at this point. Alrighty, so final season, we finished 104 and 58. And again, we're taking on the winner of the wild card game. So Trey Turner, we brought him back. I was hesitant, but again, triples, stolen bases galore. And let's see what awards we won. Rookie of the Year for Carter Keyboom. Okay. And then Gold Glove for Rendon and Lindor. Joey Gallo won MVP for the Reds. So let's take a look. Trey Turner. I was doubting him. He comes back, hits 307 for us. Solid leadoff hitter. Rendon, even though it says he's going down, still hits, you know, high 200s. 
you know, still hitting around 28, 29 home runs, similar run production, solid. Lindor, still a 99, hitting close to 300. He's doing his job. Juan Soto still hitting around 300 as well. He's just an absolute beast. Roger Huggins is looking like he's finally hit his peak and he's going to start to decrease. Um, Matt Tice at 85. Holy cow. Okay. There we go. That's the first baseman I was looking for. The shortstop that we signed in free agency who was a draft pick. Um, I can't believe that team let him go. In his first season, he hit 311 and 106 at bats. Okay. Joe Adele is an 81. So only going to get better. And Victor Robles is 78. So that's good to see. And then you guys can see Carter Keyboom wasn't even like a starter. And he won rookie of the year, which is cool to see. Um, let's take a look at our pitching staff. Barrios, a 308 ERA. A little bit higher from the previous season, but still great to see. Syndergaard is slowly going down, which sucks because we just paid him a very big contract. But... 16 and 8 on the year that's not bad mauricio rosas is a player we drafted he's looking like he's a good three like he's basically like the same exact stats almost identical stats and he's looking like he's going to be a good three um if he continues to grow maybe even a two or an ace um herman marquez he's still doing solid pablo lopez he had a good year too okay all right Caleb Ferguson, 3 ERA as the long reliever. Good to see. Coda Glover, another 3.26 ERA. That's not bad. You know, he's been very consistent. Highest ERA since we started this, but you know what? That's still, you know, 3.26 ERA. I'm okay with. Dylan Perez, 3.8. So he might need to move into like the, the setup role, get him a little bit more involved. Um, Carter Caps, 4 ERA. You know, that's kind of normal for Carter Caps. Trevor Rosenthal, 4-5. Kind of the same thing. His ERA is usually high. Wander Suero, there we go. In the setup role, did quite well. And Josh Hader, looks like he did very well in the closing spot. So, so far, I'm liking what I'm seeing. Let's see if any of our prospects really developed. Fuentes is looking like he might be pushing for a starting spot. We got Denneberg, Romero, bullpen, not worried about Okay, he's looking like he's going to be good soon. Uh, Herschel Flowers is looking like he could be coming up to the majors in a season or two. Uh, nobody here. Nobody here. Luis Garcia doesn't look too bad. Um, outfielders, we're probably going to need to start drafting outfielders for the future. But the team looks good. I like what I saw. You guys can see we won the division by 11 games. Um, 104 wins is the the best in baseball. So you know what that means. We're going to get knocked out first round. We're taking on the Reds. And uh, we actually advanced. We advanced. So let's take a look at the Reds lineup really quick. They had, they had Puig, Senzel, Winker, Gallo, Jeanette, India, Van Meter, Pinto, and Freeland. Okay. All right. Okay, so some interesting players, a lot of prospects, Senzel, Van Meter, uh, India, so definitely some some good names there. So let's get, did I see Strasburg there? I think I did. I definitely did. So that means we're facing a former player in Strasburg. So Strasburg and the Cubs taking on us. We lose the first game, we win the second, win the third, win the fourth. All right. Let's see what the Cubs were looking like these playoffs. Uh, Merrifield, okay. Brandon Belt, um, that's Brian Anderson, Hap, Baez, Schwarber, Grichik, Posey, Bumgarner. A very different team um, for the Cubs. Very different. But let's see who we take on in the World Series. Oh, we're I thought that said, I thought that said TBD. Still, we're taking on the Rays. So the Rays path, they beat the Yankees, they beat the Twins, they beat both teams pretty well, or like pretty easily. So let's get into this. All right. Oh, they got Luis Castillo from the Reds. All right. That, who lost us that game? Carter Caps. Oh, come on. All right. So one to one series. Ooh, two to one. We're losing. Oh, we're facing elimination. Oh, righty then. So the Rays. Ray's giving us some trouble. Jose Barrios is taking the mound. Is anybody struggling? Charlie Schultz is struggling. So let's... Is anybody doing well off the bench? Not really. So we're going to leave it the same. 
and let's get started right come on let's get this thing started first and second nothing there so let's look at the Rays team they have eaten former player of us um I'm, I'm assuming that's jose martinez and left they got chad pinder avisel garcia adamas meadows some 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 new faces all right good double play there a single run scored i was gonna take him out charlie schultz delivers there we go first and second trey turner double play unfortunately and the tying run comes across all right so it's gonna be it's gonna be a tough game it definitely is facing elimination there we go first and second can schultz do it again he does rbi single fielder's choice maybe a sack fly gets another run in wasn't a oh it's jd martinez not jose martinez all right 2-2 two -two game again so it's like we score and we let them right back into it juan soto delivers for us can barrios get us through five he does so that's good to see i don't i want to be safe here so come on uh righty is up one out two outs perfect that's just what we needed they're bringing in stanick an error can we steal second we do runner in scoring position trey turner two run bomb and that was a good inning for us that was a really good inning for us seventh inning one two three for coda glover they bring in diego castillo we're gonna bring in our setup man in rosenthal and i hope he doesn't blow them all he doesn't there we go perfect trey turner another homer yes makes it a four run game and we're gonna let oh we're not gonna let him take over we're gonna bring in josh hater i swear to god hater i swear to god <sighs> that was that was too much that was that was uh you almost gave me a heart attack all right <laughs> three two now we're still down but let's hop into it. Let's see how this goes. We are home. We're gonna have we're gonna have Syndergaard on the mound. Oh man, that was bases loaded, one out. Jeez, that's okay. Cool, Pinder. Way to just ruin me like that. All right, so we get out of it with just one run allowed. Can we strike back? We get the walk. Zambrano two run bomb. Perfect. All right. Okay, JD Martinez, you gotta go and do that to me. That's cool, I guess. Um, come on, Syndergaard. I need we need this from you. We gotta we gotta keep it. We gotta take the lead now. We gotta keep them quiet, and we gotta take the lead ourselves. All right, that was a good inning. We're facing Blake Snell, so this is not going great. Syndergaard, Turner, you were the like the MVP last game. Going a little quiet on me now. Seventh inning, we get a single. They're bringing in the righty. Come on, Soto. <sighs> Huggins, Tice, Syndergaard. All right, perfect. So Zimbrano, they bring in the righty. Do we have someone who can hit righties a little bit better? Robles has got a little bit of power versus righties. And that's like, that's kind of tempting. You know? Because he's not doing well. Let's bring in Robles. Doesn't work out for us. An error. We're going to pinch hit now. We're going to bring in Schultz. First and second. One out. Trey Turner does it again. This guy is insane. And I almost didn't sign him. I didn't mean to bring in Suaro. But we're going to do it. It works out. Perfect. All right. Game seven. It's all. It all comes down to this. Oh, boy. This is getting a... Uh, it just happens. We just always have to go to game seven, huh? Our, every pitcher is tired. They have Glass now. We're going to bring in Lopez. Let's do it. That's not a good start to let them get a single. But all right, we get out of it. Trey Turner, singles. All right, steal second. Man in scoring position. There we go. Perfect. Gets the run in. Bases are loaded. Do we sack fly? He strikes out. Awesome. It doesn't matter. Zombrano, three run, double Bases clearing double, whatever you want to call it. Awesome. Walk, you're going to steal second again. Rinse and repeat. Rendon brings them in. They've already brought in a reliever in Tristan McKenzie. Pretty sure he's from the Indians originally. So uh, we'll see what he's rated. 84, a potential 25-year-old. Okay. All right. Um, Zambrano keeps the inning alive. Can he steal second? He does. 
not able to bring him in but that's okay lopez is doing well we're doing well trey turner steals second again ah wasn't able to do it again with rendon though all right so we're out of that inning soto singles huggins ah, double play really first and second for adele bases loaded for the pitcher <laughs> can't expect much out of that but all right runner in scoring position and rendon does it again oh man three for four on like every single time rendon's gotten a hit trey turner has scored so eight nothing and i feel like that might be it for the rays unless we completely fall apart which would suck trey turner again Rendon gets out, so of course he doesn't score. Ah, Pablo Lopez shutout goes away, but that's okay. That's all right. We're still looking good. We have the seven run lead, and you know what? We're gonna we're gonna let him do it. Complete game, maybe. Two World Series in five years, playoffs every single year. The second season we made it to the NLCS. Uh, the third year and the fourth year, we're not going to talk about. But hey, that is awesome. We came back from 3-1 down to win the World Series. Huggins, the playoff MVP, the World Series MVP, Rendon for sure. Super clutch in Game 7. So clutch in Game 7. Huggins hit 300 throughout the postseason with 7 home runs. To think this guy was a C potential catcher when we drafted him. And he comes in to be actually a pretty solid catcher for, a, what, four seasons? Yeah, I mean, he hit 280 twice, 270 the third year. He dropped off this year. So, I mean, for three seasons, we had a pretty solid catcher. And then, obviously, Rendon is he's starting to fall off. We only have him for one more season. So, I mean, it, it worked out perfectly. Like, he's been monumental to this team. He's been a key piece. Trey Turner was very good in Game 7. We have him for two more seasons after this. So he's been doing quite well. Lindor, you know, we have him locked up till he's, what, 33? So that's good to see. He's still hitting around 300. Soto is an absolute beast. He hits free agency this year. It's going to be difficult to sign him. He's a 99 overall. So overall, the team is looking really good. We have, we're we're going to hit some contract issues. Soto is going to be very difficult to sign. But this team is nuts. And I really think this team, if we can get Soto back, would be a dynasty for the foreseeable future. And I hope you guys enjoyed this rebuild. I mean, five seasons, two World Series. This Schultz guy is unreal. The fact that we got him for a free agents in free agency when he's got 99 potential, we saw that. That's nuts. So I hope you guys enjoyed this rebuild with the Washington Nationals. If you want to see more, you got to hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you're new and enjoy the content. And as always, in the comment section, let me know who you guys want to see next. What you guys thought about this rebuild and so on. So that's it, guys. I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.